I'm kind of crazy when I'm not in this character. And I feel like I had to like mellow myself down a bit, for, a lot for this role. Hurry up! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I love the scene after one normal night when the, um, when the Beinekees walk in, because it's just me greeting them. So I, I, I like open the door and they're like, huh, who is like this zombie guy over here? Mal Beinecke. Uh. This is my wife, Alice. Uh. <laughs> That's my son, Lucas. Uh. Oh yes, I have two grandmas there. Amazing, they, oh my gosh, they're, my, they're some of my favorite people and I love being able to play a grandma and show how amazing grandmothers are. One swig of this and Mary Poppins turns into Medea. I don't understand your references. Well, stop the damn texting and pick up a book once in a while. <laughs> um, it's really actually very challenging, especially before I got into the costumes and I had the wig and everything. I had to completely like change my walk and my talk and then inherently through my talk, I had to change the way I sing and everything was very different. I mean, it was nothing like any role I'd ever played before. And it was definitely a challenge, but I think it definitely paid off after the costume and the wig. I really got into it. And now, apparently I've become unrecognizable. And it's so, re it's actually so rewarding to hear, like, I did not know that you were a girl. And I was like, that's the goal. <laughs> that's what I'm going for. I'm just a strange, dumb, song in the show is The Moon and Me. Um, Marty does such a beautiful job with that song and oh, it's, it's so beautiful and just the idea of having a love story with the moon, it's so cute and so sweet. like how much how funny the show is until there's 700 people laughing at the jokes and like you feel it you feel the energy just coming back right back at you um i love just around the corner i love the the style of that song i love um just around the corner because it's a big dancing number and i love being part of it and one of my favorite parts about that is that um at the end of the number we kind of get into like a chorus line mode and it's like so fun like the audience would probably like never expects it and it's just a great time kind of odd kooky family but yet they're so happy and they work so well but this normal all-american family has crazy underlying deep-rooted problems. Alice is kind of very unhappy where she's at in her marriage so there is a little bit of crazy in her and in my scene waiting she drinks this acrimonium and she kind of goes crazy and she lets out all of her inner feelings. It's a really dynamic aspect of the play that I think really comes to life in full disclosure and it you know Alice shows who she really is and it's a great moment because she comes to life and brings life into him and that brings him out and that furthers their connection not only with themselves but with their son and with the Adams family so it's a great time waiting for all healthy rotting vicious frenzied lust of bed in
because it's not that often where you get to, you know, have a mental breakdown on stage. So it's a fun time. I get to fall on a couple tables. I have a couple bruises, but you know, it's worth it. It's a fun scene to do. Mm, the tango is really fun. That was super fun to learn because I, I love dancing. I danced as a child, so that was really fun to do. Um, and Harrison's a great dance partner, so that's really fun. I'm definitely crazier than you, because that's, you know, I get to sing, I get to do the cartwheel, and I get to, it's a ton of fun to sing that part. Probably crazier than you, uh, I get to get an apple shot off my head. It's, uh, it's fun because me and the uh, Emily Killing who plays Wednesday get to kind of just play off each other's energy. Ready! Happy Sad is definitely hands down my favorite part of the show. I think that you know, it's infinitely more interesting to watch somebody who's not one dimensional, especially with an audience that's predominantly centered around the high school. In this transition period, a lot of parents are sending, uh, sending their kids off to college. And I think that you know, uh, this song about letting go is very poignant and it's very important in this sort of context. And it's, it's something that I really enjoy doing. Um, I think it's probably something that most fathers have to go through. Um, and I think that that's, it's funny for an audience to see him struggle with um, this new experience of having um, a daughter and dating and marriage, which is crazy. So let's be happy, completely happy, forever happy. I think that the message of the show is that without the darkness of life, it's hard to appreciate all the bright moments and the love that is surrounding you. And I think that's a great way to think about things, that even when there is despair, you know, you get over that and there's always this bright moment that's to come, which is really beautiful. Oh.